fuck with my OBS today, so it should be much higher recording quality next time I do this. <laughs> oh, that's totally fine. Um, are you a Baptiste player in general? I, I primarily play Baptiste, Anna, and Zen. I'm okay. proficient on Moira, and I'm, I am I tinker with Brig whenever the situation calls for it. It's pretty much all of them, minus Lucio and Mercy. I can't get either of those two down. But I spend all of my FFA time on either Anna or Zen. And then Baptiste, I've recently started picking up a little bit more. He's a, he's a fun character. He is. What can you tell me about his kit? Okay, so you've got the primary fire, which they recently just buffed. It's a three-round burst. You can right. hit two three-round bursts um, in between every healing grenade. It's a hit scan. Yep. And um, I don't remember exactly how much damage you do, but if you hit... A lot. <laughs> if, you do hit if you hit your headshots for all three of them, it's like one three-round burst for headshots and one or two body shots will kill somebody. Yeah, he, can really, he can really pump some damage out. All right, what about his healing gun? His healing, his grenades are AoE, they fly in an arc, and it's not the same arc as Anna's nade, which pisses me off. It's the Junkrat one. <laughs> it's the Junkrat one, and I've never played a lot of Junkrat. So, um, yeah, you get 12 of those, and you get roughly 12 sets of, uh, of primary fires. So he can heal but a lot. He can heal fuck tons. A fuck ton of healing. <laughs> what about his abilities? So his uh, his shift, I, I keep it bound to caps lock because I've got a weird hand. Whatever works for you. <laughs> but uh, his his shift is the regenerative burst. It's an AOE for ten meters, and it, it is a uh, it 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 heals everybody in the line of sight inside of a ten meter circle. And I can't remember how much it does, but it's not a lot. And not a lot. If they go out of your range or out of line of sight after you've activated the ability and he does the animation, it should keep healing them even if they go through a shield or something like that. Yeah, it's really uh, not tricky, but there's there's some like really fine ways to play around that. But yeah, it's a uh, right. line of sight's the big one. His e, big one. his e is an immortality field. It throws in the same arc as his grenade, so you can do a grenade to test fire where you're going to hit it. Um, if it hits a wall, it drops straight to the floor, and then it activates. Uh, once it activates, I can't remember how long it lasts. It feels about 5-10 seconds-ish. Something like that. It usually gets and, destroyed uh, before it lasts the whole entire time. <laughs> true, yeah. They just nerfed it down to 200 health. Enemies can't shoot at it. It'll cap you at 25% of your health, I think. Something like that. It's, it's like 40 for its 200. Super dairy or something like that, yeah. 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 And uh, it's it's a line of sight ability, so that way, if you like throw it around a corner, like you can't break line of sight with it, even though if you're in the ring, you'll still die. Right. And then his ultimate is the uh, his ultimate is window or the amp matrix, and it amplifies all projectile items that go through it. So beams like May's primary, Moira's suck or whatever, it won't get boosted, but everything else will. Yep. It'll also amplify your healing, and it one. turns into this freaking monstrous ability if you use it right. right. And it's either a coordinate with team thing, or you can use it very selfishly because it charges stupid fast. Right. And what about so, his uh, passive? His passive? Yeah. Oh, his uh, his crouch ability is a is a jump. Right. And you charge it up, and you got one second after you stand up from the crouch to hit the jump. Right. All right. So, you really know Baptiste? I watch a lot of YouTube. Awesome, you really know him at that level. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Okay. Granted that you know all of those things about Baptiste, what is he good at then? He's good at playing close to tanks in a little bit more of a brawling competition. And uh, he can get interesting angles with the jump boots, and he can also kick out a solid amount of damage to help your DPS. Yep. Um, immortality field allows you to either bail people out of stupid situations or provide a defensive against a, uh, an ultimate, so like it can block a junk rat rip tire if everybody groups or a diva bomb or, or something dumb like that. Um, or you can use it to have your team get very aggressive. And um, what, what, I pl what our plan was, we had 
very good comps in this game. Okay, Our plan before, was to use... That, before you do that. Oh, sorry. No, 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 you're fine. But before you do that, <laughs> um, what is he bad at? What is he bad at? Long range healing. Those grenades are not They don't travel pleasant. enough, yeah. Yeah, and then his burst healing is suboptimal, is how I'll say it. Like, you can... If you hit the passive and you and you just are throwing nades into somebody, you can keep them up through some decent stuff. I'm a, but I'm it's a, not anything I'm upgraded, like that. I'm upgraded to bad um, because at, You're high, at, to bad. at higher levels there's just too much damage and it's happening too quickly. Okay, so it, my uh, elo, yeah. it's okay. It, yeah, <laughs> but, but but you can even tell then, right? Because at your elo, it's still suboptimal. So you can imagine even at like masters how bad it would be. Mm, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So if even at a, even at at a low elo, it's not very effective. It just gets progressively worse and worse. He cannot burst heal at all because all of his stuff is over time. So, okay. You know, it's kind of like more like you know, the, yeah. The harder you click left click, isn't going to change anything. <laughs> you know, it's, it's going to be over time. <laughs> you That's... just you just watch your target melt in front of you. Exactly. And they they bitch about healing. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's the same deal with Baptiste. Like, doesn't really matter how hard, how much you you can you can hit all of your grenades and smash left shift to even pre-opted and it's not going to matter it's going to die um the timing of a widow headshot yeah. versus your healing is going to do shit so and i will say yeah. with baptiste the other super negative i found with him is you can you can your kid is on very long cooldowns so you Thank can you. Was for that run one. out of abilities very quickly he's the longest cooldowns in the game really these, these are like 10 seconds plus each I can't, think of, oh, yeah. I can't think of any other hero that has one 10 second cooldown. Let alone I think that immortality 20. field is on the 20 second mark. Yeah, I mean, these are stuff. like 15 second. Pl I, I can't even think of anyone relatively close to that. To be fair, I think immortality field and Anna's nade are the two most powerful non ults in the game. Right, which that's is. An, right. That's an opinion. <laughs> Anna for sure. I'll definitely say Anna's for yeah. sure. But, I mean, even that's. I think that might be 10 seconds flat. Anna's grenade. I think it might be a little less. It's... Yeah, even... it's not as terrible. Right. Even then, the point is like these are some insane cooldowns. Yeah, but his ultimate's on a very fast charge. But his so. ultimate's on a very fast charge. But this is just this is a lot. That really yeah. is a lot. People don't talk about that enough. Because it's all you got think... as a healer. <laughs> I don't think I used a lot of. Uh, I don't think my ability usage is very consistent value. Sometimes it's hit, sometimes it's very miss. And then I miss, I, I straight forget about the jump half the time. That's fine. Um, I'm glad you brought that up because one of the things we're going to talk about in this video is how do we get consistent value out of his kit. Dope. Um, because he's got a weird one. Honestly, he's got a really weird... All right, there, before I get into that, there's one more thing he's bad at that leads, to why, his ki to, lead, that leads to why his kit is really strange. Hmm... What do healers who do who bothers healers the most? Which class of heroes bothers mm, or not even class flankers. heroes? Flankers. Flankers, right? Yeah, it's he's tricky with flankers. He's really weird against them, right? I think he I would say he's not good against them. Honestly. Um which again, on the surface it doesn't make sense because he has so much damage and he has some really strong abilities. And he has a bailout yeah. move where he can jump and stuff, but that's on paper. In practice he's not very good against them. Yeah, it's... I play lots of tryhard FFA. Get my ass kicked in a lot of tryhard FFA, just yeah. so I can kind of mitigate that a bit. Yeah, because it's like he has a crazy output of healing, but it's all burst heal, so you can't really save him in the moment. He does yeah. a lot of damage, but it's a hit scan weapon that you have to hit. <laughs> so it's like right. you, it's these really crazy trade offs. He can jump and reach high places, but it takes a second to get off the ground. Yeah. So it's a really he's it, the the dichotomy of Baptiste is really complicated. And it's really tricky because it's it's a it's a seesaw in like the truest sense of the word. Mm -hmm. It's it's either flat when you're not doing anything, or it's that way. There's just it's no either. other way to re yeah. There's no really good yeah, way to go boom about or it. Bust, yeah. It's boom or bust with him. Um, so let's actually watch and see and like observe how you're playing him and what we're doing. So our original plan was use the sim TP to point, and then I told him I was going to immortality once they come out of it so they can get established a little bit and we can kind of dislodge the enemy that was the plan and it, it, it looks like I'm really fragging in this because we 
yeah, it, it came out very well. And this this entire VOD is both attack phases were very strong and both defense phases were very horrible. Right. So I know I I, I already know we're not gonna get very many good talking points off of attack phase. That's fine. And I apologize for no, that. There's plenty of stuff we can look at. I think Saw I the spreadsheet. Yesterday I had a I had trouble finding good good losses or good good clips to get off of because I went on a bit of a win streak which was weird. Uh, it, that's the latter. It really does be like that. So we decided to pull the same strat again over here. Okay. Wow. Bold. Yeah. I think that was positioning there. I don't think you should have followed them. Hmm. I see no like. point as to why you should have followed them. So what would you have done? Would you I mean, have... You're not more of. You don't need to be in the fight. Okay. Because my goal was to get the immortality field down. Okay. So, so should I have just thrown that and then teleported back? No, you don't take it at all. You just cut around to the middle. And you're, okay. And you're right within healing range. And you know what I mean? You're safe. And you have, a, I think, yeah. are here. Shit, you can even go on the lower ground where the mega is right here and throw stuff okay. up there. You can take one of the side steps. You should not teleport onto point. You're not a brawling hero. Uh, the only support who would who should be doing this is Brigida and Moira and Lucio. Because they can brawl. Oh, okay. Right. I mean, because we just talked about how he doesn't do well in 1v1s or in close range situations. Um, right. And he does it, he's not on, he can't heal from all the way in the back, right? But he can heal it at, right. he, he's like at that comfortable soldier McCree distance. Yeah. So you would have been safe. Okay. You would have been shooting for free. Um, you could also hit a very easy immortality field. You could also be in line of sight. You could even stood up here. Yeah. Um, but I don't even think... No, I wouldn't even done that. Ignore that. You should have been behind one of these boxes. While they teleported back here, you just walk on, mosey on over right to this box, hide behind it. Or even take the angle like in between these two pillars. Mm -hmm. And you can throw your field here, you can heal here, you can do DPS for free, you can jump up and do DPS and jump up and heal all for free while your team does, while they do all their Ryan Zarya things. Um, and you probably would have ultimate and probably won the fight even quicker. I'm, ju I'm just going to say you're going to watch me go through that teleporter a lot. <laughs> you don't need to. <laughs> Only three people that should be going to that teleporter are... So, right. So, you should do the teleport thing if it's like, you know, we need this point to win the match, you know? Right. If we got, like, 30 seconds left, everyone get in. Um, but if it's, you know, five minutes to go, the only ones who should be getting in there are the, are the brawling supports, which are Moira, Brigida, and Lucio. Mm-hmm. Because they can safely do it. Right? I mean, it's part of their kit. So yeah. Is, yeah, they're they're supposed to be they're very, supposed very to be in there. Yeah, yeah. up in business. You don't need to. You can show... Because you're 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 close enough to get to be an you're an optimal Baptiste range. You're not far enough where the grenades are like traveling way too far. Right. Yeah. So, so yeah, we decided to eh, group up and do it again. <laughs> okay. But yeah, we did have good calls, and we were the last the first push we did on this. I think I called for a dry push, and I think we adhered to that fairly well. Okay, so here's here's my thing about the Symmetra strat. Uh huh. Um. If it doesn't work once on the first time, it's not gonna work. Because at that point, Some... at that point, you're just cycling ultimates. Right. And your teammates. I mean, this worked because you guys spammed your ultimates, but at a certain point, you're gonna start. You're gonna give up the ultimate fight to the other team. Okay. And it ends up being a big snowball on the defense. As in, the defense will always have the ultimate advantage. You're just feeding ultimate charge after a few lost fights. Okay. On top of that, they have a closer spawn. Right. So you're really just you're you're playing into their hands. It right. works. It works if everyone has their ults like you guys just did. Mm -hmm. But if that's not the case, it's not gonna work. Yeah, because I I called for a dry push on the first one with the Sims TP strat, and then the second one it's like okay, well we're, we'll teleport her in and we're just gonna ult wipe. Right. But then if yeah. that had failed, yeah. then you guys have got to drop it. Because yeah. now they have, you just gave them the ultimate advantage. Right. Something to think about. 
So I, I this is really working on... This is really funny, oh. because you're setting up here. <laughs> uh-huh. Because you know that you should be safe. Or, right. Or you, you figured out the range you should be in to safely heal while still being effective. Mm -hmm. Yet you didn't do that on attack. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the, the, mindset, the mindset shouldn't be different. It's the same mindset. It's optimal I struggle. Range. I struggle with... Um, so I, I'll get my starting positions. This is something I've consistently noticed. I'll start with very strong positions, and as fights evolve, my positioning just kind of gradually decreases unless I'm super cognizantly focused on it. Okay, uh, here's the best way I can describe it. For any level of support play. As okay. a support player. Do you follow, like, in real life sports? Not, not really. Okay, are you more of a math guy? I, I'm, I'm familiar, I'm familiar with a lot of stuff. Are you more of a math guy? Use... Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly okay with math. Okay, so I, I always, I always have to do these analogies because they work out for me. Here's the I'll math one. It. Here's the math one. Um, tanks can move linearly. Okay. Bear with me on this. Um, no, no, you're fine. DPS move like a parabola sometimes. <laughs> Ups and downs. They take really... Right. If, if, if the line itself were to be their pathing and positioning in a, in a fight, in a game. Right. Right. Ups and downs, lefts and rights, curves. Mm -hmm. Tanks like to go in straight lines. Both ways. <laughs> right. If you're support... You're gonna be moving piecewise. Here, then here, here, then here. So here. you find a position, transition to your next position as the fight evolves, and set up in another position. That's exactly it. Gotcha. What was your sports analogy? Out of curiosity. Um, I I was thinking of like I I use this in the other videos too, but it makes so much sense in sports. There are heat maps. And it shows where a player has spent the most amount of time on the court or the pitch. That's fair. So, you know, like a in in football, the if this is like your field or actually a yeah. basketball court, right? It's like the point guard if this is the, the thing, the point guards are gonna be out here most of the time. That's their heat. Right. Point. It'll be red. It'll be green in the paint because they're not really in there. Yeah. Right. LeBron's will be inside. You know, a center a seven foot guy will be inside. Yeah. Steph Curry will be shooting threes on the outside, so this will all be red, and vice versa. That's, okay. that's and, I'm, and I'm always like, the, the heat map of a support player is way in the back, right? <laughs> or it's, yeah. or it's, it's, uh, it's, um, it's focused, so it's like red on this point, then green for a little bit, then red on this point, and then green somewhere else, and then red. So yeah, think piecewise. Think piecewise. Piece, so you're going from spot to spot to spot to spot. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. And in between picking your spots, quite literally picking your spots, you are repositioning. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you need to tell your team if you'd like to calm that you are repositioning and that they don't have heals for these next three seconds. Okay. Because it's essential, especially as Ana or Baptiste. I'm, right. You have to reposition. <laughs> um, because you're not brawling like Lucio or Moria or Brigida, where you, right. you, have an an you have an anchor, a Reinhardt or something, to like really hold you down. Right. You're, you're isolated right now. This is where you should. If you were Ana, you'd be up here too, or something like that. You know what I mean? You, we're not running goats yeah. anymore. We're not protected by five other people. I don't even know where the Ana is. I think the Ana. She's in the front somewhere. Yeah, there. she went somewhere. But let's say, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Let's say they had a, a widow up here, and she shot at you and she missed. You're gonna drop that's down, a, right? That's a cue to get the fuck out of dodge without the jump boots. And that need, and that means you need to tell your team that. <laughs> okay. So they don't, so, so so they can't roast you about not healing because you're like, hey, I was trying to get myself safe. <laughs> gotcha. Or if a tracer's or a Genji jumps up here and he, he doesn't kill you and you like, I gotta get out. So right. You rotate over. You gotta either you you figure out I need to call for help, but right now no one can help you, <laughs> or mm -hmm. you need to safely get out and say I'm repositioning. So gotcha. we, if we think back to that graph, you started up here, something happened. Repositioning. You, you piecewise down then... somewhere else. Exactly. Gotcha. That's the positioning okay. mindset for a support player. Awesome. I'll have to practice that. Mm -hmm. And so what triggers a reposition is an event. Right. Quote, unquote. Something happened, you know? Mm-hmm. Someone 
jumped on you, you lost somebody, your Reinhardt fell, they're TPing, Widow has sights, it's an event, something is happening, which will yeah. require you to move. The team starts rotating somewhere. Sure. Yeah. Ah, so look, right? This is an event. <laughs> <laughs> yes, their monkey was kind of dumb in my opinion. Are you gonna? What are you gonna do then? I think this was a. I accidentally gave up high ground because I think I walked off of this. Yep. Yep, and you had no. You had no reason to. Yeah, I, I have a very bad habit of accidentally walking off high ground. All right. It's not getting back up there. And then I tried to get the sim because I knew the to. sim was a power. You don't need to, though. But right? so, I didn't so realize that was the health yeah. pack in there. Right, so there's two things. One, you need to learn the health packs because she wants to get the health pack. Two, where's your Anna? Where's your, your yeah. Anna? She's down here somewhere. Mm -hmm. You don't need to drop down and heal her. Okay. So, you know, you hear, the sure term, like, you hear the term like heal bot. Yeah. They, they use it like in a derogatory sense. This is being a heal bot. <laughs> this is being heal bot. <laughs> this is quite literally feeding feeding yourself and dying for the sake of something that you should, you don't need to do anyways. <laughs> this is Healbot. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's what that is. It's like, oh, what are you doing? You, you don't need to do anything. Like, as soon as, as soon as I, she's walked in there, this is the point where I realized, man, I shouldn't have done that. Right. And then you wasted field. Because you, yeah. you got nerve, you got, you got nervous. You're like, oh shit, I shouldn't be yeah. here. Right. And then look, we just snowballed and they got the point. I'm going to guess they're going to get the point. Yeah. You know, I popped that, amp there to, no to need. try and save them. Nope. Nope. Not to panic. You panic twice. Yeah. You, you, you panic field. And you panic um, lamp. I'm not lamp. Um, window. Uh, window. Yeah, I, I, did, I did window primarily to heal the other two, but I hadn't realized how many people had died. Yeah. Well, your kill feed told you. So... Yeah, that's you, that's you, some area I'm very weak at, is yeah. watching that. In a fight, like, outside of fights, I watch it like religion, but in a fight, I struggle with it. Do you play with sound down, or do you play with, like, music in the background? I play with no music, uh, the full surround sound and everything, and... If, this is, yeah, I... if reading this is too much, which I get, you'll get better at this over time. You're not going to get it mm -hmm. right now. You just got to practice it, and you'll get better at it. It's the only way to get better. I'm sorry. Like, there's no, there's no trick to getting better at reading the kill feed versus. Oh uh, yeah. You just have to practice reading the kill feed, and then it'll start to be second nature. If you, while you, while you get good at this, when your teammates die, they make a different sound than when an enemy dies. Okay. What I've been doing for callouts to try and keep it in the front of my mind is to, uh, to call out to my team. And this is something picked off of ML7. Is call, hey, it's it's. 4v4, 3v4, right. 2 or whatever it is. So that way, so not right, only right I'm thinking of what? it, they're thinking of it. I want to say 6v6, but I know that's wrong. We lost D.Va. Because we've got, uh, yeah, we've got a respawn going. Yeah, right? we lost D.Va. Just yeah. now, she just got demagged. The ML7 thing works if you know how to read the kill feed, though. That's the only, that's, that's the caveat. <laughs> It's it's a, it's also assuming that everyone knows how to read the kill feed. Yeah. So it's like, oh, 5v6, 4v6. Right. Winnable. It, that, that all comes from knowing who's where, who's coming, where, where what respawns are, who's got what ability right. up, who's got what ultimate up. So, yes, we'll get there, but right now we're not there. I think it, I think it's, <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm being honest, it'll do more harm no, than don't good. Hear it. It'll do more harm than good. What, okay. you're, what you're going to end up doing is overloading gold and plat players with information that they don't know how to process as quickly as you want them to. Mm, okay. it's, it's the slippery slope of, of callouts and the slippery slope of voice chat in low ranks. Yeah. I am not a proponent of joining voice chat in low ranks for this very reason. Hear me out. Because <laughs> I'm a toxic douche or something like that. I don't no, think I, I, I don't think it's beneficial for lower ranked players to join voice chat and give callouts because by the very definition of callouts and shot calling or whatever you want to call it, you are assuming that your teammates can act on those things. Now, one of the main skills of higher ranked players and higher ranked teams is quite literally shot calling. It's not just some throwaway thing that anyone can do off default. 
it's something you need to practice and it's something you need to do over and over again it's so, and it's something you can be good at and something you can be bad at so i think if you want to think about overwatch so it's like there's like mechanics there's game sense you know all that stuff like call outs yeah call outs and comms we'll call it comms is is a skill it is a it is a piece of currency in your overwatch player profile it is not okay. something that everyone has I mean, I can even tell I... you. Yeah, I sorry, I can even tell you for like a fact. Like, there are top mm. players who can't make Overwatch League teams because they don't have the communication skills for it. So I I left comms everything because I was getting tilted a lot, and I actually found that that dropped me some SR pretty significantly. The tilt or and the comms? I, the leaving comms, like it wasn't. I felt more comfortable in the game, right? And it was easier to focus on myself, but at the same time, there would be be times where it's like I know they have a strategy like afterwards like oh hey they were trying to do this what can so here's here's how we're gonna solve that okay. I'm, not, I'm also not saying don't join comms because I get yeah. it that it works for some people it's a comfort thing mm -hmm. I also don't want but I, I you can tell I don't want you to get into comms and start thinking you can just start you're not you're not gonna turn into ML7 in, overnight because your team's not there definitely yeah that's the that's the thing it's just a skill barrier that a comm skill barrier that no one has. Um, mm -hmm. So here's what we're going to do. Join, okay. join team chat. Join voice. Join whatever. Alright. You're gonna We're going to build up the skills you need to actually be good at comms. Okay. <laughs> so we're only going to focus on like one thing at a time that you can be really, really good at. What's okay. like one aspect of communication that you are, that you never, you barely get wrong and that you always feel like you're on top of? Hmm. I want to say regroup calling for a good regroup and i want to say asking asking to focus a target because i played zen for a god awful amount of time and i would call my discords so, so focus focus targets yep. right all right what's what's the negative of calling out a target negative calling out a target what's the is negative it might it? it might not be the right target yep and um it, it may detract from another situation that's going on. So, like, maybe our maze in a 1v1 with the Doom Fist. Right. So. And you're calling Monkey, and she's like, I can't get to Monkey. So yeah. She, so she tries walking over to Monkey, and then the Doom Fist just rocket punches her into the wall, and you lost your May. Right. Right. <laughs> and there's also the whole... here's here. That's one part of it. Here's another sort of negative of folk calling out targets is... You're calling out targets because you're assuming that your team can kill that person. <laughs> right. By the definition of the people in this rank, they cannot kill targets. <laughs> right. So we're, we're sort of going into a circle here. You know, it's like, yep. I'm like, yeah, I, if I jumped into a goal game right now, I can call out all the correct targets in the right order all the time. But the odds of my whatever being able to finish that target off is very low. <laughs> so what I would do as a Zenyatta player, and I'm actually really bummed that we're in the double shield meta right now because I love Zenyatta to death. Is I would uh, I would see what everybody's shooting at, and it was typically a tank because I'm in the elo that I'm in, and I would just put the Discord on them and say shoot this, shoot shoot tank, shoot tank, and then, you know, the, everybody's like, well, I'm already shooting that, so. Okay, so what's one thing you can do as Baptiste? Um. That is, so what's one thing? Think about it this way: what's one thing you can communicate to your team as Baptiste that is a, it's a it's a low it's a it's a small ask. But an effective one. So it's not a big ask, you know, because that that would detract from the game. It's so like a big right. ask is like a bad target call that forces Maze into all that stuff, whatever. Right. Think of a, think of a small ask, a a, a a low lift kind of thing that you can do call consistently. That will that can give you great returns. <laughs> um, calling when a target is half, or when when a character is half. Even or even that... smaller ask. Keep keep going. Even just think uh, out loud, yeah. Just keep going. Whoever is one hit, so that way if somebody is just around them, they know that they can finish off that target. We're getting there. Think about as Baptiste is a hero, what can he do to help out? Not just general support play, but Baptiste. Baptiste specifically. Yeah. I want to say Amp Matrix, because the rest is a healing or a defensive ability. Right. Okay, keep going. What about when you're just pumping out healing? Uh, tell, telling one person that you've got a pocket on them? Yes. 
Yes, exactly. Oh, if you're, got there. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's exactly what I wanted. Because if your Ryan's at half, or any low, right. low tank, they're going to get scared, and they're going to put their shield up. But if you're like, I'm pocketing you, Ryan. Keep swinging. You'll okay. Probably, that'll probably be a lot more beneficial than anything else you could have called. That makes a lot more sense to that player versus saying, monkey low, monkey low, monkey low. Because so, then he's like, where the hell's the monkey? I didn't see the monkey. He turns around and then, like, Doomfist one-shots him, and that's it. <laughs> so, so I need to, in comms, focus on calling who I'm going to pocket to, to enable them. Yes. And What's the proper that, term for that? <laughs> there isn't one. I, I think about it this way. So, so there's, like, A, which is, mm -hmm. I'm pocketing you. B is what? It's, it, so this is, keep, the a, this is the actionable part. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm supporting you. Be, even be specific. So for, I, that Ryan, got, for that Ryan example. Keep keep swinging, Ryan. I've got lamp on you. Yes. Or whatever. <laughs> yes. Swing. <laughs> yes, that's it. <laughs> so it's like the A part is the observation. I make some of those call outs of like, hey, I've, I've got you. Keep pushing or whatever. Yes. But it's but not as often. Make it more often and make it more specific. Okay. So it's like, not just I'm pocketing you, you're good. Mm -hmm. I'm pocketing yeah. you, keep swinging. I'm pocketing you, like, uh, use your ult. I'm pocketing you, he's low, we can win this. Or I'm pocketing you, um, I don't even you know. know. Whatever. <laughs> I'm do Ryan things. Do Ryan things, dude. I, I'm pocketing you. Like, use that charge shatter. In. Yeah, charge him in. Yeah. I got you. Charge charge in. I got you. Like, Ryan charge, me. I got you. Yes. Got <laughs> you know, because you have lamp up or something. Right. Or Ryan, back up. Go to your left because lamp is there, you know? Gotcha. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Back up to your left. Back up to your left. Back up to your left. Back up to your right. Keep going. Or... Charge it in, I'll lamp you when you get there. Stuff like that. Okay. That's what you want to do. That, this is the stuff we can... That won't overwhelm your team, but will get you into the habit of practicing, like, proper communication. Okay. Good. I'd, I'd like to get better at proper communication. Right. Versus saying... so. Versus thinking you can do all these call-outs. Because even if you get right. the 100% right, your teammates yeah. aren't going to get the 100% right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's that's what it is. You you can get a hundred percent of the A in solo queue. You will get like ten percent of the B. Okay. Unless you make it actionable and specific. Gotcha. That's what supports can do. Can and, I throw something out here? I feel like flying a Blackhawk is a hell of a lot easier than Overwatch, to be frank. Yeah. No. It's so funny because <laughs> like uh. You know, for all the Disney animation stuff going on, like this is a pretty damn complicated game. <laughs> you know, like do not be do not be fooled by the bright colors and giant eye I'm characters. A, <laughs> I'm a goddamn Black Hawk pilot for the fucking army, and this shit is more complicated. I'm letting you know that right now. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, it's like a. And in, in, in real life, like I work in education, and mm. it's the same. A lot of the concepts have carried over in, in just working with students but yeah like, i'm like dude like this is way more complicated than like when i was oh my learning God. like pedagogy on how to teach like 10 year olds how to read you know like this is like I, we yeah. to, this level of complication i don't <laughs> um, know it's it's on par with common core math i guess yeah 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 please explain why you multiplied we can have a whole other talk about common core but that's a whole separate thing <laughs> Oh my! My girlfriend's a education teacher, and she's doing her practicums right now. Oh, she's I hated so those. Pissed. I hated those. They were terrible. <laughs> at it, what is it? Her at TPA. That's what I had to do. Um, but yeah, it. Good luck. She'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be okay. Tell her, but it'll, it'll be okay. Because <laughs> it will be. Um. Okay. That was very bad positioning on my part. I should have gone left to back up instead of going main. I just thought this whole engagement was really weird. Alright, who's dead? On your team. Alright, Ryan. So get the hell out of here. That's it. Yeah. That's I, I wanted to keep our Tifa alive because I knew they were pushing. I'm like, well, some tank is better than no tank. Nope. No tank is better than... Nope. No, that's it. If he's gone, your your fight is done. 
there is no fight to be had because he can't help you. <laughs> and then he goes charging in like a crazy guy. But no, if if your main tank is dead, and we're not running around Risa, Zarya is Zarya by herself when she's by herself. We got it. We got a diva. We're for red. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Diva by herself. <laughs> sorry, diva by herself is terrible. By the way. <laughs> yeah, um, and I love how he just nanoed her and she self destructs. So. Yeah, diva by herself is absolutely terrible. So this is being aware of team compositions. Mm -hmm. you, you you're not beefy. I mean, at, at a certain point, no. May is like beefier than than you know Diva. This is yeah. not this is not helpful. This is not helpful. Him being dead is not helpful. So, right. based off this team comp again, I don't really talk team comps too much in lower elos, just for a bunch of different reasons. Because you can usually right. work with what you got. Um, yeah. This is fine for this. I actually don't mind Ryan Diva. Um, for a lot of the utility you gain from running Ryan Diva, you lose the brawliness of Ryan Zarya. Right. So if one of these two is gone, you have to play slow. Yep. And so this this goes back to our A plus B. Mm -hmm. What was the A in that last fight? Ryan's dead. Yeah. <laughs> Which is back up, play careful. Yeah. Kite is the term. Retreat. Get whatever. the hell out. Get out. <laughs> and if you want to make it actionable and specific, Diva, get out. Everyone get out. Everyone get on me on point. Yep. Okay. I see. This is what this is, as this as, is this is it. Gotcha. That's what supports can do. And the reason it is mostly done with supports is because they're usually in the back. <laughs> and they and they and they got that field of view. And we can see that, they yeah. We can see that. Um, so yeah, that's your call, especially if you do want to be in, in, in comms and get that going, because even a solo queue team will understand everyone get out on me, get on your Baptiste right now. That's something else I kind of struggle with is, is calling my character name instead of me, oh, but that, I, I understand how infuriating it is because I've had I, even people in this game, they're like, help me, help me. I'm like, who the hell is me? Oh yeah. Solo queue is a. Anna, can you hear me? Who are you, please? There's <laughs> this widow's on my ass. I have no idea who you are, or where you're at. Um, so yeah, no, on bap, on bap, on bap, on bap, on bap on point. Okay. Cause we won this, right? But look, we gave everything up for it. Right. <laughs> and look. <laughs> they got yeah. three. They got three. He's gonna get his, and he'll probably get his too. <laughs> yep. That Doom Fist was rather oppressive on yeah. us. So I popped Window so that way we could throw as much damage through as possible. Okay. Window, again, I don't mind it being used liberally because it comes back so fast. That one and Moira ults, they just come back so quick. It, yeah, it didn't get much value, but we didn't have. I didn't have anybody to really combo it with beyond, like... A Fire Strike or something. A Fire Strike or Diva May right click. Uh, Diva Missiles, maybe. But... Yeah, it, it was just... Yeah, and that was freaking Chunkrat's bam. Okay, so we've talked about positioning. I should have just stayed in that corner, by and large, for this fight. I think even here. Way back over here. Okay. Because you have no natural cover here. Yeah. Oh, well, you're just out in the open. I think I was trying to get some damage in. You can do that from over here. Either you, No, you no, no. I know what I was doing. I was chasing the, chasing the D.Va because D.Va was doing something dumb. Yeah, and at that point, you have to... It's, it's just a war of attrition at this point. Right. If there is a scenario where your teammates are feeding, this is a feed. Because mm -hmm. she doesn't have bombs. I don't get it. Um, Unless she thinks she's... Gonna, whatever. She you did some to, dumb stuff. You have, yeah. to make, you have to make a decision where it's like, am I going to go heal bot and chase her because I see critical? <laughs> you know? Like, oh my god, I see critical. I must heal without mm -hmm. realizing you're, you're essentially throwing the fight. Or it's just a war of attrition. It's like, whatever, dude. You messed up. You messed up. <laughs> Diva, you... Because there's nothing you can do here. What are you going to do? Throw a field and waste it? <laughs> I think that was the plan. <laughs> yeah, you, you can throw a field and waste it. You can well, throw a field yeah, and get deleted to save instantly. Her, and but yeah. Some people are not worth saving. <laughs> I know that sounds so <laughs> terrible. Oh, no, it's it sounds right. <laughs> they are not worth saving. It is not worth your resources. It is not worth your teammates's... Uh, chances of winning or losing a fight for them to be saved if they're doing something that silly. 
it, it, yeah. it is not as simple as the supports must do everything. You you have to. It's it's a symbiotic relationship. So here, I was her. trying to keep, yeah. trying to keep her up and get this thing off of our back line. Yeah, I. And then meanwhile, go. while we were having that little fight, everybody we else got whipped. So Doomfist did got his whipped. job. Yeah. <laughs> he did his job, I, right? I felt really bad because I'm like, I gotta help Anna because I know if we can end this, and we couldn't end it quickly. I'm like, I know if we can end this, we can both get back in there and and support out support the other team. Right, so from from this perspective, he did the right things, but he's gotta die here. He was anti too. I know he yeah. did. You also lost two. So I think this fight is over, even if you kill him right now. To be honest. Mm. It's over. Okay. I mean, you lost to Ryan. You lost your sim. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't catch that in the heat of the moment. I was a little. So again, yeah, no, I get this. We, we will make it a habit. <laughs> but yeah. Um, we're just gonna start making this a habit of reading the kill feed. Read, try to read it. At, try to read it at the beginning of a fight. For now. Okay. Just for now. Just for now. Beginning of a fight. Okay. And then when you feel comfortable with that, then you can start read it mid-fight. Um, okay. But. Yeah, no, I mean, this fight's over, I think. Um, even if you kill Doomfist right now, it's over, because D.Va's about to be demacked. You can see it right there. Mm -hmm. And she's the only D.Va in the match. So, again, the sound thing, she makes yeah. a very obvious sound when she gets demacked. Okay. So that's another thing you have to keep sort of in the back of your mind. Because hmm. if you're fighting this and you hear that, you're like, all right, it's over, dude. D.Va's gone. My tanks are gone. This is done. So what would the smart play have been? Smart play would be just call for Anna to retreat back into spawn and see if we can get a regroup? Or... I just think the fight's over. Okay. I think you did what you could. Going into spawn wouldn't change a single thing. You're not going to get a And then we regroup. got fucking whip tired. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, this fight's over. <laughs> it's over. Look how quick it, it just snowballed. Um, yeah. Actually, this is funny. You know why it snowballed, right? Because I died? No. Try remember that fight button. before? Oh, when they got all of their ultimates and we burned almost all of ours? Yeah, look what just happened. <laughs> okay. They just queued you to death. There was no skill to this. It wasn't like someone made a misplay. Okay. At least Doom didn't get value. I personally hate Doom. He got value. He got, he got plenty of value. He <laughs> kept you guys occupied for a whole point, a whole tick. Oh, yeah. So he did, he did his job. Uh, damn junk rat ultimate. <laughs> yeah, no, it. You Not guys, like you guys if, lost the ultimate if... fight. Is all. Yeah. So, so that so back... her here's the thing about the ultimate fight. Mm -hmm. One, you'll get better at just keeping track of them. We'll start adding in ultimate tracking at a certain point. But when it does come to what they have, which is grav, entire, you have nothing to counter it. You have no Lucio. You have no Zen. Mm-hmm. I don't see why... I know you play Zen. Why wouldn't you have played Zen this map? Hmm. Okay. So that way you can have a defensive ultimate against that? Yeah, there's only one shield. Doomfist will be on your ass, but he's going to be on your ass regardless. So <laughs> You just get, get over it after a certain point. So I was, I was asking it. I was actually debating swapping to Brig at this point um, because of the Doomfist to kind of counter him. Brig would have been fine too, but I think I don't think this works um, against this, this comp. T Team asked uh, specifically. They they asked me to stay on the Baptiste, and I was I was doing a lot more of the main healing than Anna, because she was getting actually pretty decent anti nades out there. So they were asking her to stay for that. So yeah, I, I think I think a, a Brig Zen swap or Lucio oh, swap would have been much better. Yeah. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Because you would have had Transcendence to counter this. All they did, they won that fight because they grabbed, they grabbed Coalescence, you guys. Mm -hmm. That's all they did. They grabbed you, they coalesced you. I mean, they wasted a trance to lead in, but whatever. And then the rest was just clean up. Hmm. You also can okay. Discord. You know what's really scary for a Doomfist is getting Discorded, too. He doesn't like that. <laughs> um, he doesn't like getting Discorded. Run. She doesn't like getting Discorded, because then she has to use her, um... Her self bubble. And then you call that and try and focus her. Exactly, because she's toast after not having a self bubble. Right. But again, Baptiste is okay here. 
I just don't think you're getting a lot of value out of him because of the lack of ult. Anna, okay. So Anna Bap works against double barrier. That's what it's there okay. for. This works against Orisa Sigma. Because you need his DPS to power through shields. Mm -hmm. And she can nano some good targets on your side usually. And if she can hit a nade, it's very important against that comp. Yeah, I think she she hit a crazy nade on the first attack point. Yeah. That's why everything died so fucking yeah. quick. Yeah, um, versus... And you could run Bap Lucio or even Bap Brig or something like that. But Bap Anna against a non-double barrier comp is not... You're going to have to roll them before they roll you. It's way too offensive. So here, I actually noted... I want to make a comment about this. Um, you okay. you kind of tend to waste your fields. Your, your lamps, I'm sorry. Absolutely I call no them fields, to. so... Fields, lamps, whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, there's, there's, whatever no need, there's, there's no need to waste E here. I Yeah, I was afraid she was going to die, and then I saw the wall go up, and it's like, well, okay. But, yeah, I wasn't sure how much damage was coming through that room. See, but the thing is, I get that, but you also... are in, The downside of having Anna and Bap is that you don't have that defensive ult, but the positive of having Anna and Bap is that you guys have a ton of healing between you two. Like, just so mm. much healing. That you you don't... You can be so intentional about this use. about I'm sorry, okay. about, this, about this lamp. Because there's so much healing coming from the supports. If it were you and Lucio, then yeah, maybe you could do it. But even then, it'd be debatable. But okay. there's just, just... I mean, these guys are both... So that was a very so, bad lamp. They just heal so much. You have to think about that, though, because your support partner is your synergy partner. Right. You guys need to play off each other hmm. to get the best positive effect on the game. That was a bad lamp, and I knew it as soon as I threw it. Right, and now we have no abilities, because I have no idea why you used shift. I just saw it, and I don't know why. Okay, fine. We'll I don't have that. sound for the video, but yeah. Hey, I don't see why we did it. Why did we shift? Yeah, I don't. I don't think as consciously about my shift. And I'm. I. I try to find. Here's what you're gonna do. Times. Try to go into a. This is so funny because look. Mm -hmm. You guys are losing. You, you don't have any abilities. You probably could have saved yourself, but whatever. Um. Right, because it, it, if if they dive in. All right. Now we got. It. Let's think about Baptiste. In a, in a bit more uh, strategic I, way. I struggle knowing when to use shift. Like, is it smart to use it at the beginning of a team fight so that way you can have beginning. it back around mid? Beginning. And then, you know, yeah, it's I, I never have a good cue for when I should shift. So here's how here's how we're going to figure out how to use both of the um, Baptiste's okay. abilities. we got to look at their comp. Okay. What, what's their win condition? Like, how are they? How are they going to engage? They're probably going to engage with the Winston dive and everybody else. Following. Winston dive and a Doom Fist dive. Right. They're going to follow like... Winston's cue. Right. Right. Winston's gun is really weak. Mm -hmm. Winston does not like immortality field. It is anti Winston. Okay. It, it is also anti Junkrat and anti Doomfist because they can't really shoot at it accurately. Okay. So what would be when in the fight would be an appropriate time to save your lamp for? When somebody's getting dove on by the uh, the three of them. Even, yeah, when they fully engage, when the when their team, when the blue team fully engages, is when you should have that lamp ready to go, because a lot of these heroes in this comp don't like it. And then okay. you can use your shift to pre-heal. And then you can output all that healing. And then you can start doing DPS. But using it... I think the misuse is coming from not understanding why you should be using it. Right? Look, you can even see them kind of getting ready. Change the mm. color. You know, they're just kind of getting yeah. ready over in this general, like, uh, like the market area. They're just kind of getting ready. Okay. Your Anna's also right here. Your tanks aren't going anywhere, right? You don't got a Winston, nothing like that. Right. We talked about the piecewise chart. Right, I need to find... 
yeah, this would be a good time to reposition. And I should reposition high ground on the back. Yep. Because they got that little ledge right behind point. You got it. Hmm. Man, I wish I could think of this fast during the actual game. <laughs> no, you will. It's going to come with practice. No, it's just going to come with practice. Once you start doing it, it'll come with practice. Actually, I think that lamp was trying to save the May, but it was late. It's way too late. No point in having it. Just keep yeah. healing, just keep healing. And now when they actually start to fight, then you can throw a lamp down because it's really going to stop da stop monkeying all those guys. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, here we were tempting on pushing them and decided against it. No, it's over. Yeah. I'm glad you didn't. And you can be the voice of reason for him, too. Yeah, I was trying to call Ryan back a little bit. I called the Doomfist, got in the 1v1 with him, called him half. Too, huh? I did. There waxed the fuck out of the junk rat. You waxed him. Now, you <laughs> messed up here, though. Um, I came off with the high ground, didn't I? Well, you you got booped off. Well, Nothing you could have done about that. Um... Who'd you lose track of, though? He killed you. Doomfist. He, he came literally right from the health pack. So yeah. let's, watch, let's watch his passing. He's on the health pack. And I, yep, I called him half. Junkrat comes in. And where does he come from? The damn health, health pack. pack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you didn't That's do anything. <laughs> right. And so it's the same thing as if you were a widow. I mean, facing a widow, right? If the widow right. was, like, up here... Well, get out of this line of sight. <laughs> you know? Right. Especially if she misses the first time. It's the same idea with Doom. Especially since you knew where he was. Um, it gets tricky when you when the good Dooms will fly way across somewhere, you know? Oh, I know. Right. But this one, he just stood at the house back and was like, whatever, dude. So I actually accomplished what I was trying to do there. I was trying to touch for as long as I can, and I wanted to force Zenzel, because I was pretty sure he had it. So, I thought he would react to the the, the window. So he actually he did. did what I wanted him to. No, that's fine. That's a, that's a smart play. And you at least prolonged dine on point as much as you could. Um, yeah. But at this point, this is just a snowball. So it is what it right. is. Just buy as much time as you can, especially at this point in the in the. A minute would have been nice, but whatever. Yep. Um, I probably would have even thought about going to Moira there just to go. Buy time. Go fast. It's, it's. I mean, neither here nor there. Um, okay, let's see attack now. Uh, we decided that Sim was working good on attack, so we went back to the Sim. Right. <laughs> um, we did have a very good agreement, though, that if it didn't work and they were wise to it this time, that we wouldn't play it. Right. Because we'd already played this strat. Right. Unfortunately, this is gold. Low gold. Like, literally, I just broke through in the gold. <laughs> it's totally fine. <laughs> And they fall for the same dumb trick again, and we snowball the balls If they off. fall for the same dumb trick, then it's not a dumb trick. <laughs> I always feel it's a little cheap, but, you know. Then counter it. I'm just being honest. Yeah. Like, if they keep falling for it, then that's kind of on them after a certain point. Used field to stabilize once they came out of the teleporter. Shoot that, shoot that, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, yeah. Um, do you know you can click with both clicks at the same time? Mm-hmm. And I actually got scolded a bit at on that by another VOD review on Overwatch University. Some people say that it, it diminishes the value of both, but oh, I know that there's its own thing. Um, I won't get into that. <laughs> I one. know that it's got certain value to it when you do it. Yeah, and the certain value was here, where you could heal mm -hmm. people and shoot a shield. Yeah. This is certain value. Mm -hmm. That let me let me change it. Shooting this is certain value. Also, your teammates are literally in the last same line of sight as this. So yes, this is. Yep. One of the times where you should shoot both guns. Was I strictly doing one or the other? Yeah. You did it at the end, but it was too late. But that was that's one of the times where you can do both. You can do both here too. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Look, good left shift. Okay, good. Can you and then we were calling it out. Called the mercy. That was a little risky, a lot of risky, but we got him. <laughs> should just jumped. <laughs> I didn't think about that in the time. I kind of suck at thinking about jump during mid-fight. This would have been a good bunny hop. Just one, one blast him. Yep. But Sim got him. Sim and her fucking death beam. Alright, we do the same thing. Guess what I do. <laughs> <laughs> you know 
why. This this is you... even worse because I got pinned into the wall and then insta died. <laughs> What's so funny because, all right. Now, now I know better. <laughs> well, look here. Here's why you should have not even. As they go up there, you should have hid right here. And then as soon as they tellied, what ability do you have right now that would create a really nasty crossfire? A window. Yeah. And you I put, should have crossfired with the window. And you put the window main. They force them from the right. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. Shit. <laughs> I wish I had thought about that. I was, I was. My goal was to get through and get the window down so that way we could maybe get Sim right clicks through it or... Yeah. I got the window down in time for my team. It's fair. So. But yeah. Freaking Ryan Pin out of left field. This is why you don't want to be brawling with him, right? Because you can't fade out. Exactly. You can't stun him. You can't boop him. <laughs> yeah. Can't even you have sleep to hear him. him. have to hear him coming a mile off to get the boots ready. Right. Diva gets one hell of a bomb. She just yeeted up into the sky. <laughs> she just yeeted it. She yeah. that was a yeet diva. Yeah, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. You can still back up. The fall off is not for a reasonable distance. I'm not. I I I don't know where my mechanics stand, so oh, I fine. tend to move forward. When I'm shooting, as a kind of a subconscious need to need to aim better thing. Right. I that Overwatch was is my first first person shooter, so it was mine too. So I, I hear you <laughs> on that. Um, your mechanics are fine. Okay. Well, that's bad. good to know. Yeah, I don't think they're bad. Um, we made a decision to play on point mainly so that way we wouldn't get dove. I was checking my flanks there. there. Yeah. Does he see you? He'd... Nope. Neither does Azaria. <laughs> Okay. I dropped for very dumb reason. So here's the thing. Uh, we can talk about the A plus B now because you saw both of them. Mm -hmm. They didn't see you. I didn't see the Reaper until I watched the replay, but I did uh, see the Zarya. So either way, all right, let's let's redo it then. You saw her. She didn't see you. Don't mm -hmm. you have intel on the team that the rest of your team doesn't? I was calling that like a motherfucker. Well, do you remember what you said? Yeah. How about this? What would you say now? Like, what? What's the A plus B? What's the A B of this? A is Zarya's Zarya and Ryan in the Zarya and Ryan back line, and B is Zarya has no bubbles because she. I watched her use the one on Reaper, and then I watched her do the self bubble. So she has no bubbles. Focus them. Focus and, she's Zarya. and she's dropping from high ground, right? right? So she's dropping from high ground. Zarya dropping from high ground, no bubbles. What's the B? Shoot her. <laughs> yes, kill her. It's the leader. Yes. The leader. Yeah, I was consistently calling the Zarya because she would get high charge and just microwave people. Alright. So. I'm surprised they didn't see you. But yeah, Zarya no bubble cover from high ground. Kill, 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 kill. Sorry, everyone yeah, on Zarya. Was... Everyone on Zarya. Everyone on Zarya. Yeah, Ryan heard me, came back. That was a big field. Do you see how Winston hates that field? Yes. And then Reaper just, like, fucking right. deletes us all on the next fight. <laughs> but I, I want you to see how you use the field to satisfy the win condition of the fact that these guys don't like field and they like to be into the fight. They like to engage on it. And you waited mm -hmm. for the engagement. Even even if this was unintentional, you waited for the engagement, then you pop um, lamp. And you're It was very it. unintentional. Yeah, but either, either way, I want you to see how I filled it. It didn't go down yeah. for, like, at least two to three seconds. And that's enough time. Reaper had to go out of his way to shoot it. Yeah. Okay. That was that was the field. That's how you play that field. Okay. And then you probably should have left shifted too. I did. I think you did, right? Yeah. Okay. And yeah. then they just got topped all the right. They just everyone got topped off. So that's and, proper uh, field usage. Yeah. Then team overextended. We were calling for them to come back. But that's teammate. I can't control teammates. No, you try your best. This is a Reaper no Wraith kind of situation here. Mm-hmm. I popped. 
matrix to kind of make sure we got got the kills right. out. This is a good matrix. Okay. We're still freaking alive though. So it doesn't matter. Uh, you're you're gonna be very disappointed with how we deal with this reaper. You don't, right? That's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, reaper. Reaper wrecked our shit. Dang, so I really would have really thought about going brig then. Because the Reaper and the Doom were giving you troubles. It was the same guy, too. Yeah, it's the same guy. I think I think Brig might have been that play, that second point, or whatever. But Once we kill him and I make that call that Reaper's dead, we fine. kind <laughs> of... We, we went into it pretty hard. Yeah. Zarya. Oh, I know. This high charge Zarya is a beast to deal with. Watch one of my other videos. I believe it's one I just did. Yeah, it's the Mora video on my channel. Okay. I talk about triggering cooldowns and like what that looks like for support players. Um, There's a link to your channel on your Discord, right? Yes, and there'll be a link to the yeah. channel on this link. <laughs> like okay. you'll, you'll you'll get pinged and everything. Perfect. So here's what we'll do. We'll stop it there. I don't need to see the rest. Um actually no. Uh, yeah, no, we'll stop it here and then we can keep chatting offline. Um Okay. Was this helpful? Very. Okay, good. Extremely. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad. Um, yeah, we'll talk in a little bit. Thank you, man. Yeah, no problem.